semi coming by. Um, today's the first day of summer, and um, we've had a, a decent amount of rain, about an inch and a half or so um, in the last 24, 36 hours. As you can see, our farm is right by the highway, and so we get a lot of highway traffic, plus the fact that I... Um, this my garden area is closer to the highway it's quite it's still a fair amount away but close enough that we see the semis and stuff anyway i came out to see how all my garden was doing since we had that rain since i'm doing the wicking buckets um having rain isn't always a good thing but to me it always is because it's god's way of watering everywhere but um, right over here, I want to put a small hoop house. Those are my plans. I'm going to uh, be planting in the bigger lick buckets, too, eventually. But for now, this was good enough. It was a good way to get started. Anyway, I came out to see how everybody was doing, and everybody looks good. And um, on the end there... And then these two guys, those, I didn't think that I had planted any cucumbers. It's sad to say, but so much of my stuff died and I replanted that I kind of lost track of what I have. But I know that, let's see, that one right there is a, um, some kind of weird pepper. And this one next to it is starting to climb and the three of these were setting together and they were going towards each other and so I thought well I'll bring them over and stick them by the sides here where that net or that uh, what's it called hardware cloth is and see if I can get them to climb up that I thought about putting a string like I did for the tomatoes maybe I'll put one of them on a string and see if I can train it to go up and then I'll learn whether I can do that or not Anyway, one of the things I wanted to do and will do next year is kind of along, especially along this front side, I want to plant some loofah and see if I can't get it to grow up the uh, sides of that. That would be cool. And then over on this side here, I'm setting in the shade. There's an area here that has a shade it's like one fourth of this area that has shade that they made for the chickens which is perfect for me when I come out here I can just set well on windy super super windy days it's just plum horrible and so I was thinking about putting a piece of tin here and here and then maybe skipping a spot putting another piece of tin and another piece of tin to kind of just break the wind I don't want to get rid of the wind but I wanted to break it there's the lick tubs that I'm going to be using. And I left those feeder things just because I don't really know what to do with them. But anyway, there's a pepper. And somewhere I think I might have a squash. Oh, there's that third one's a yellow squash. I don't know if I have any zucchini. But I see a couple of peppers over there. But boy, howdy. Um, it's been crazy 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 year I got so I was so late on getting things started that I didn't all my seeds that I started kind of pooped out on me so I end up starting all of this except maybe one or two from purchased um, plants which is not something I want to do but I figured you know what we're just getting started we're just getting set up this year so that's just how it is and we'll do better next year and plus I'll be planting in the bigger pots and my plan my plan with the bigger pots is to put one upside down and then one right side up so that it's really a raised bed now I think on my tomatoes <clears throat> I probably won't do that because they grow so tall unless I on the tomatoes decide to just let them fall over the the sides which I have some kind of scrap 
55 gallon barrels that are either have holes or whatever in and I put if I put that dent on and then put that lick tub up on top then I can plant about oh at least three possibly four depending on where I add in this garden I can plant three or four tomatoes in it and then they can just fall over the, the sides anyway so um, I feel good because it's getting started and and getting something done is always better than not getting anything done but I did notice I'm rambling because that's just how my mind works but I did notice over there that um, need some more staples put in so hopefully next time Sammy comes which hopefully will be soon she can put some staples more staples down there and then there's also a place over here that needs more staples but we'll just look around and see where all we need them but she's going to be building my rack and I believe I'm going to put it over here in that corner and that's where I'll put my peppers so that uh, <clears throat> Because they don't take up a lot of room. They don't grow that huge. So, And those will stay in five-gallon buckets. I, pro I won't be putting them in a lick tub because they don't need it. Now, things like squash and my tomatoes, I do want to put those in the lick tubs, but pr probably not this year. And uh, another thing I was thinking, I don't know if I got any cherry tomatoes. Because, like I said, I had several die and some of the ones I bought didn't you know you, you only get a like if you get a six pack only, there's only one of those little plant sticks in it so anyway I was just trying to get this going and so we're going to get what we get and I'm praying the, that the Lord will let it be a bunch of stuff I've been so hungry for cucumbers and so I'm praying for these cucumbers anyway hope y'all are well Thanks for stopping in. Take care of yourselves, and God bless you. Bye-bye.